Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the TP-Link Casa Spot Pan Tilt. So this is an indoor security camera. It has several features, including 1080p video, so you can clearly see what's going on in the video, including making out faces, things like that. It has night vision that is built in, so it does have some infrared little lights that turn on, and then the camera will be able to see that at night. It also has the ability to pan and tilt. So this can spin 360 degrees, that's all the way around, and then it can tilt up and down as well, so it can look down, it can look up, and that gives you the ability to not only look around with the app, but it will also automatically track motion. And if it tracks that motion, it'll send you a notification so that you're aware that your camera saw something, which can be a security issue or something like that, maybe with a pet. In addition to that, it also has integrations with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. All that for a price of around $55 on Amazon. And as you can see, I bought a refurbished version for about $40. So check the links in the description. I'll have both the refurbished version and a brand new version down there for you. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So as you can see, it comes in a cardboard box and I like that because you can easily recycle it. Looks like on top we have a sticker and this can be useful for mounting the camera. Then we have a quick start guide. As you can see, very easy to set up. You just download the app, plug it in, and then you can connect to it via the app. I'll also be going through that in this video. We have a power cable for this and it does use micro USB. So very excited to see that. That means you can basically charge it with any of your normal charging cables and you could use any wall adapter and anything like that to charge it as well. This also looks to be a very long cable. I have the normal Casa Spot and it comes with a 10 foot cable. So this looks like that as well. Little mounting bracket with some screws, the wall adapter. So this is what you plug in the wall to power the camera. And this will be similar to most cell phone chargers. And then we have the actual Casa Spot pan tilt right here. So we'll take that out and there you go. You can see what it looks like. So it has a really cool look to it. Almost looks like a little robot or something like that out of a movie. Nice little Casa logo in the front. And then up here we have the lens. So this is going to be the camera lens. And then there's some little LED light letting you know that it's on and recording, as well as a whole, probably the microphone. Now, as you can see, this little area right here, this little black area, that is going to be the range of motion up and down for tilt. And then the entire camera can spin around. I'll just go ahead and spin it to actually spin 360 degrees, which is very cool. So you'll be able to turn this and control it as much as you want to with the app on your phone. Very cool. As you saw in the back, we have some holes right here and that is for the speaker because one of the things this camera has is two-way audio. So not only does it have a microphone in it, so in the app you'll be able to hear any audio that it is recording, but you can also speak through this little speaker using the app on your phone and it'll be played very loud so anybody around the camera will be able to hear it. Then in the base of the camera, here in the back, we have the micro USB connector for the charging cable, which is how you power it. And then in the bottom of the device, you're gonna have some rubber grips. So these are gonna provide some grip if you have it sitting on a table. Works pretty well. They might also provide some cushioning so you don't have any vibration or anything in the camera. Makes for a better video. And then you also have a little area down here where the mounting bracket snaps in, and then you can kind of mount it to a ceiling or something like that. So really that's gonna be it. The plastic here does feel pretty high quality. I think this could take a small tumble onto the floor. Now again, this is not a waterproof camera, so you don't wanna put it outside, but this looks to be pretty durable for being inside. I also like the color of it and the look. It looks like it would fit in most modern households and not stand out very much. And just for reference, the camera is about four and a half inches tall, and then the base across right here is gonna be three and one fourth inches. All right, so now that we've unboxed the Casa Spot Pan Tilt and taken a closer look at it, let's go ahead and get it turned on and then we'll go through the setup process. After that, I'll give you a ton of examples of not only the video quality, but also do some night video quality tests and then you can see the audio both from the microphone on the camera and also as the speaker. All right, so per the quick start guide right here, step one is to download the Casa Smart app. Now I'm doing this on an iPhone, so it may look a little bit different if you're doing this on an Android, but check the description because I will have direct links for both iPhone and Android phones to the app in your respective app store. So go ahead, get that downloaded and installed on your phone. Then after that, all we need to do is just connect the power cable and then use the power adapter in your wall to provide power to the camera. All right, so I got it plugged in and as you can see, the little LED light above the lens turned on, it's showing a green light. 
When you first open up the Casa Smart app, you will be asked to create an account or log in. Now the app's really cool because you can see all of your Casa Smart devices. As you can see, I have a light bulb and then a smart plug and you can name them and then control them from there. As you can see, the camera is now rotating. This is all just automatic. I think it's calibrating the rotation. Now that we've downloaded and installed the Casa Smart app and we powered up the camera, what we need to do in the Casa Smart app is simply go to the devices page, which will just be down here in the bottom left. So hit that tab and then go to the plus symbol. From here, we just need to tell it what we're gonna add and this will be a device. And as you can see in the list of items, the first one is gonna be camera, so we'll select that. And then we have the Casa Spot Pan Tilt, which is the KC110, so select that. Now it's asking us to plug in the camera, which we've already done, so select Next. And as you can see, it's asking us, is the LED blinking orange and green? And I don't know if you can pick up the green in the camera, but it definitely is doing that. So I'm just gonna select that it is. Now the next step is titled Connect to your Casa Spot. So the Casa Spot is going to be emitting its own Wi-Fi network. We need to connect to that, then we can set it up with our phone, and then the Casa Spot will connect to our Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna be looking for a Wi-Fi network with the name Casa Cam. And on an iPhone, we do that by going to the settings. Then in the settings, we go to Wi-Fi. Under other networks, we just select Casa Cam right there. And as you can see, we're connected now. There's no Wi-Fi password you have to enter. Now let's go back to the Casa Smart app and it will start connecting it to the camera. So now that we're connected to the camera with the app, it's asking us to provide a network that we want the Casa Spot to be connected to. Now keep in mind, this does have to be a 2.4 gigahertz network, so you can't use a 5G network, but that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm just gonna connect it to my home network, which is Yolanda. Go ahead and enter the password if it does not already have it in there and select join. So now what it's doing is it's sending that Wi-Fi information to the Casa Spot so then it can connect to my home network. This might take a couple minutes to complete. As you can see, the LED on the spot camera right there has stopped blinking and now it's showing green. And as you can see, we are done with the setup. Now what I need to do is just simply name the camera. One thing to keep in mind with this name, if you plan on using the camera with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, this will be the name you'll be using when you control the camera through those different voice assistants. So you wanna make sure it's something that it's easy for you to say and for the voice assistant to understand. I'm just gonna name it test camera and then hit save. Now the next option is to activate notifications. So like I was saying, this does have motion detection. If it detects motion, even if you're not on your Wi-Fi network, it'll send you a notification in the app. So I do recommend if that's something you wanna have, enabling notifications. After that, it's just saying to go ahead and mount the camera and it'll give you some information about how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And now as you can see, it's saying congratulations, we've set up the new spot pan tilt camera. Now, one of the limitations with the Casa Spot Pan Tilt is that in order to actually have cloud storage, where this will actually save footage online so that you don't have to have like internal storage or something like that, is you have to pay for it. It's not included like a Blink camera or something like that. So if that's an interest of yours, I do recommend checking that out. You can do a free trial. For me, I just really wanna have the motion detection with the alert on my phone and then be able to check in on my dog whenever I can using the camera. So I'm just gonna do not now. And these are the benefits of having that. You get 30 days of cloud video, manual recording, where you can record it to the cloud manually, and then snapshot notifications, where the notification without opening the app will include whatever image this took. So I'm just gonna say no thank you. So once you finish the setup, it does have some nice information that you can kind of go through to learn more about the app and how to use it with the camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and exit this and we can play with it via the app. So as you can see in my list of devices, it added camera here. We can quickly turn on and off the camera by just selecting this little green button right here. And as you see the LED right here turned off. So if I hit that, it'll turn it on. Not sure if you can pick that up with the camera. From there, we can click into it and you can actually see live video from the camera. And then as you can hear, the microphone is picking up my voice and it's coming through the app right there. So that was just a little bit of feedback that you were hearing right there. Now, one quick thing we're gonna do is test out the microphone here. So all I need to do to use the speaker on the camera is simply hold down this little button right here in the app. Testing one, testing two, one three, two, three, testing three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So you can hear how loud the microphone is. And it's very easy to actually understand my voice through the speaker on this camera. 
Now that little echoing is just because the microphone on my cell phone is so close to the speaker. So that's just a little bit of feedback there. So taking a closer look at the app right here, you could see that you could see the live footage and it does say live. We can then select this little button in the corner and that'll make it full screen where you can see a little bit better resolution of the video. You also have the option to use the audio mic right there if you wanted to. And then with these controls down here, we can actually move the camera, move it around. You could go up. You can go down and you can see that on the video, which is pretty cool. So now I'm just going to pan. It doesn't move too fast, but that does the job really, in my opinion. Pretty cool. Now another option you have in here is a schedule. So you can schedule when you want the actual camera to turn on or off. And this can be useful if maybe you only want it to be on during the day, or if maybe you only want it to be on during the night. So we just do plus. And in here, as you can see, you can have it scheduled to turn on power or patrol mode. So once you have that option, you can either have the schedule turn on or off the camera, select the time, and then you can also have it repeat which day of the week you want this to repeat. So pretty cool there. So one of the interesting features in this app, see these little plus symbols up at the top right here? Well, you can save the actual location of the pan on the camera. So as you can see, if I select this, it's gonna start turning to a area that I saved before and I can turn it back real quick. So that's pretty useful. You could easily have your door monitored and then switch it over to a window, different things like that. Another thing in the app down here where it has pan, tilt, and activity. Pan, tilt is where I can control it. If I go over to activity, I can see video that was recorded because there was motion detected by the camera. So I can go ahead and just play that. Loads pretty quickly, and as you can see, it's three minutes of video. Now, another thing in here, you can manually record right there by just hitting that button in the app. And then if I stop it, it'll be saved to the clips on my phone. Now the last thing in the app is just going to be the settings up here in the top right. And as you can see, we can turn on and off the camera. You can change the name if you wanted to change that. Also select which notifications you receive and when you receive them during the time. It's pretty cool. You can set up activity zones. And this can be for each of the different viewpoints you can configure. So that's those pre-configured areas with where it's going to be pointing. So you can do up to four of those. And then you can also enable and then disable motion tracking. And as you can see right here, it says by enabling that, the camera will follow the motion of anything it detects to keep it in frame. So that's something to keep in mind. A couple of different cool things in the device settings here, you have patrol mode, and I just wanna kinda of go in what that was. So if you turn on patrol mode, it will cycle through the different viewpoints that you've saved. You can also set up how long you want it to sit on each viewpoint. So it can be down to a minute, up to 10 minutes, which is pretty cool. So you have some good options there. You also have the ability to set the privacy and sensitivity. So you can have it record video only, record video and audio, or do not record video or audio. And then also the motion detection sensitivity, and then how long the motion has to take place before it starts recording. You can also have it set up to where it will listen for sounds. So maybe a window breaking, a dog barking, something like that. Then after that, we have the ability to change the video quality. We can move it all the way up to 1080. And then you can change the video rotation, which can be useful if you have the camera mounted upside down. So you can just flip it upside down. That's all that's gonna be useful for. After that, we have the ability to turn night vision on automatic, where you can have it always on if it's in a very dark area, or you can turn it off completely. And then you have the ability to turn off the little LED right here if you want to be a little bit harder to see the camera at night, because that will be pretty bright. And then finally, they have some tutorials and you can remove the device completely from your Casa Smart account. All right, so now that I've shown you all the features available with the app for the Casa Spot Pan Tilt, I'll show you some higher resolution test footage, including night vision, and then some of the audio as well. All right, so I'm currently using the Casa Spot Pan Tilt to not only film this video, but also the microphone to record my voice. The camera is set to be filming in 1080p, so you're getting an idea of what that looks like. And in my opinion, it actually looks pretty good. As you can see on the sides right here, there's a little bit of a bend in the lens. That's because the Casa Spot Pan Tilt has a little bit of a fisheye lens, but that allows the camera to pick up a wider viewing area. But overall, I think the video looks good. You're able to see my face even though there is a light over my head, so that bright light doesn't wash it out and make it too hard to see. 
Right now, I have the video pulled up on my phone, so I'm watching it live. And I just wanted to show a quick recording of what it sounds like in the recording when you move the camera. So I'm just going to move it real quick. It's not too loud, but it does make somewhat of a noise. Now keep in mind, you can only really hear it in the recording. It's not something you can hear in person. All right, so now we're gonna be testing out not only the motion detection, but the motion tracking. So here I'll overlay a screen recording for my phone. You can see the detection notification come up, and then you can also see the camera track me as I walk through the basement. Now, if the object is moving too quickly, it will not be able to track it, but if it's moving at a moderate pace, it does do a good job of motion tracking. All right, so I've currently moved the Casa Spot pan tilt into a back room in the basement, and I'm gonna turn off the lights. We'll see what the night vision looks like after it turns on. So I'm gonna go over, turn off the light. It's dark in here. The night vision will turn on. And then you can see that the night vision actually works very well. You can pick up detail in my face if I get near the camera. You can see that. All right, so hopefully those video tests gave you a good idea of what to expect, both from not only the video from the Casa Spot pan tilt, but also the microphone, and including some night vision in there as well. Overall, I think the video quality from the Casa Spot pan tilt is good. It is 1080p, but I did find some issues with the video being recorded and transmitted if the camera was a little bit far away from the video or there was some sort of connection issue. So what I found the fix for that is to just lower the resolution down to 720 and that should fix those issues. Now the microphone does sound pretty good. You can hear what people are saying. I did find it to be a little bit harsh and tinny, but that's kind of to be expected on a little camera like this that's not too expensive. The speaker on the back does work pretty well and I do think you could use this to communicate with people two ways if you really wanted to. I have been using this a couple months to watch my dog when we're not home, and also just for random security reasons, things like that. And it has a lot of great features, such as the motion tracking and the auto detection of motion as well. The notification is pretty quick. It only takes about five seconds from when it starts detecting motion to when it actually sends the notification. And I really like the fact that I can access the camera from anywhere in the world, as long as I have an internet connection, just using the Casa Smart Home app. So that works great and it's very easy to use. One more quick thing, if you need to do a factory reset on the Casa Spot pan tilt, all you need to do is push the camera up like this and that will reveal the reset button. So it took me a second to find that, didn't find anything in the manual about where it was at, so I just wanted to point that out. If you have any questions about the Costa Spot Pan Tilt, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link in the description below so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.